Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Staszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams P, FM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax-deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam IFM. An investor sells 100 shares of HJK Corporation short at $70 per share. The broker requires an initial margin of 50% on the short position, and the investor earns 3% per year compounded monthly on the funds posted to the margin account. There is no interest paid on the proceeds of the short sale. One month later, the investor buys 100 shares of HJK Corporation at $68 per share and returns them to the broker. Uh, the margin is released. Calculate the investor's effective annual rate of return. And here's the solution. So the investor will have to post a $3,500 margin. This deposit will earn 3% compounded uh, monthly. Um, annual effective compounded monthly, um, and that will be 8.75% interest um, in one month. The investor will pay 6,800 for shares when covering the short, and will receive from the initial short sale 7,000 for a net cash flow of 200 upon closing of the position. Uh, the investor will also receive the margin deposit back. Thus, the investor will have earned 200 plus 8.75, so 208.75 on um, the capital of um, $3,500 in one month uh, for an annual return of 1 plus 208.75 divided by 3,500 to the 12th minus 1, and that's 100.4076% annual effective rate of return, which is answer B. Please remember this is copyrighted material, all rights reserved, reproduction in whole or in part without express written permission from the author is strictly prohibited. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.